Okay, 2083, good luck. That should be green, and it is now. His opponent's played a bit more games than I have, 200 and something. I've played just over 100. Let's stick to the carol. You can pretty much pre-move d5, but there's no need to in rapid. Okay, we get the two knights, so we'll devote the bishop and then e6. Unless we get attacked immediately. H3, I'll just take the knight. Okay, it does it. So we take and then we go e6. Do we have options here? Knight up is my likely move, unless the pawn pushes. Comes there. So I think knight up and back is still a move I can take as well. Actually, I'm going to do that because if you go with the knight, I can maybe grab a pawn. And now we get a tempo developing. Hmm. I think bishop up is probably a move here. You can maybe come bishop down and I can go up or knight across. Yeah, let's go up here. I'm just trying to get castled. Bishop down is a little bit of a nuisance move. That's what he's done. So I can play a knight across first to guard the knight and free up the queen. If I play a queen up immediately, you can take. I can take with a check. We both get messed up structures. So I'm just going to develop the knight. So knight guards the knight to free up the queen. So now I'm going to go here, I think. Or do I want to? I will. We're just attacking the bishop. <coughs> Threatening to capture a knight. Or we can just get castled. It's a bit dangerous this now after pawn comes up. So I'm just going to drop the queen back. Okay. Do I drop back here? I think I will. I'll just trade the knight and bring the other one across maybe. I'll try and develop the rook, pressure the pawn. You can imagine a few moves down the line, if the bishop comes around the angle, there'll be a lot of pressure coming here potentially. Now, bishop up seems like a sensible move to try and deal with a dark squared bishop. I don't see anything better, so I'm going to play that and try and get rid of one of White's bishops. Then I'd like to bring the rook across just to pressure the centre. Um, I'm going to do that now, and if the knight jumps in, I can just take... So yeah, I don't think you can play a knight in this move. You can't. So I could drop back here and pressure the pawn. I can drop back here, pressure the pawn, and get the queen trade done. And then we should have pretty much equalised the position there. Hmm. After c3, it's going to be difficult to create chances, but it seems sensible to me. Is there a way to create a double attack? I don't see it. So I'm just going to drop back and trade the queen. It means knight, to, knight in now might be a bit more playable because you can take back with the pawn. Okay, we might as well try and guard that one. So it does indeed go across. Let's knight up a move here. Knight up here is probably a move. Hmm, here or here. If I go in the centre, I don't see where else I'm going. So I'm going to go forward. If you trade, I've always got potentially f5, although g4 might be annoying. Again, I can trade there, I think, or I can push first. But there is a pawn loose. If I trade, you go here. I think I just go forward. Yeah, I think I just go forward immediately. Now, if I go here, you take, I take, you take. That's not quite so good. So I'm going to push up first and then look to come across. Hmm. Now, if I go here, you're going to do this, but I think I'm kind of committed now. Okay, he's offered a draw. That's a little bit early. Mm, it's very drawish though, isn't it? It's very drawish. No, I'm going to play on. It's a little bit too early for a draw. I might, I'd rather at least try and play a game, even if I lose it, than draw a little bit too quickly. So I'm going to try and run the king up. I can't really stop a pawn push, so I just won't worry about it. Now he can't actually take that move, can he? So I'm going to bring the king up. 
trying to come in the middle try not to lose this churn he's pushed but now can we go here he's gonna try and get behind there doesn't he so i'm gonna go here and try and create an immediate attack see if he defends it or tries to push he has tried to push hmm I think I'll take there and go forward and then step back maybe. He's going to cross. Okay. Now we could go here and threaten to push and blast through this structure. What's wrong with that? I could go here to stop the pawn push along. Actually, that might be a sensible move. I guard my pawn and I stop him pushing so the rook can't check my king away. He's gone there now, so now maybe here then. He can come here. I couldn't really stop that, but I could just go here. I like the look of that. I'm going to go here and try and push my own pawn. I'm trying to push the break through, so he's gone back. So can I do this and this? I don't see why not, actually. That's why I've got a majority. Or here, he might just come back. Hmm. Let's go here first and try and gradually push forward on this side. Oh, he lets, that, lets me push. I thought he was going here. Not without risk this, of course, but I'm going to try and push forward. He's playing the game very, very quickly, mind. So is it possible to create any pressure? Well, that's a past pawn. Surely I've got to push there. I can't resist not pushing there. So now rook here. I don't want to lose this, but I've got rook here to potentially check. King up, he just goes here. We don't want this move because we can't guard the pawn. Mm. Might have gone wrong, might have gone wrong. King up, you just check. King back. You go back. Or you can just check. So even if I go here, if he pushes, I can't actually guard my pawn. So I'm going to have to go here. If he pushes, check. If he goes there, check and collect. And then I think I can take here, but I'm in danger of him coming around the angles. What if I come this side? Here, with a view to check here. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm looking at these two moves. So if I go here, down. If I take, he just collects my pawn and the whole position collapses. I could come here as well now. Down, take, take, here. Mm. If I go here, pawn down, check. If he goes there, I can check safely here and collect. We can trade off, and I don't think I'm any worse. I'm going to risk it. He's playing this game really quickly. Might be playing slightly too quickly. Okay, he's just offering another draw again. Now, I'm going to play out. I'd rather lose a game. Play a game out and lose it than agree a draw. So I'm going to go forward and check. So if he attacks the rook, then I go here, so he doesn't do that. So now at least I can collect a pawn either way. But is that all I can do? Can I go here, takes, and somehow try and push? Like, go here. I'm going to take and go here, I think. And I'm going to try and get this in somehow. It might not be possible. But we stop rook going here. Still level material, three pawns each. So my rook does guard that pawn, so I could maybe go here now. He can check, I can't go here. So what if I just go here? If he checks, oh, if he checks, I have to come back and I lose my rook. That's dangerous, isn't it? Hmm. 
Hmm. So I might have just lost my pawn. I can't safely run away. I can run back, but then his pawn can push. I can go here, create a checkmate threat, maybe. If I go there, he can still check. I have to come back and he can still take my rook, so that's no good. So I'm going to get the rook out of where. I'm just going to let him take the outer pawn and come back again. I'll run around the side. I can't stop this. So I'm just going to run the king round. I'm going to try and create um, a mate threat. So has he seen my idea? He can't miss my idea now. And if he has to go back, I'm going to try and push my pawn up. Okay, so if I push up and he checks, I can step behind the pawn, right? I mustn't allow the same idea coming this way and he checks from behind, but I think I can check. If he checks, I go here. Oh, I've just missed a check winning the rook. I don't believe it. I didn't see it. I had a simple check to win the rook. Oh, God. I played everything correctly and then messed it up. Oh, he's just allowed it again. He's just blundered the same thing. Yeah, he's just been moving too quickly and he just blundered it again. Well, we get a bit lucky there.